Hey everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Super Daryl. In the last video, we uh, made it to, well, the heart of the uh, pyramid, defeated the Asp, and uh, it's now time to uh, see if I can find Cleopatra. Alright, uh, before I do that, I want to go to the shop and um, I want to buy this. I want to buy as many skills as I can, while well, I can. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in this beautiful day to witness the union of Cleopatra and Time Knight. Time Knight and Holy. This is a day of great celebr, great meh, celebration and reverence, on which we blah, come together before God. Before me, as we come together before Time Night. God is nothing before Time Night. Continue with the ser sermon, swine. Ugh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to. Oh, for God's sake, just skip to the vows. Ugh. May you all remember and cherish this Ugh. sacred ceremony for on this day with. Love, we will forever bind time, ugh, God, and Cleopatra together in only mm, ugh, matrimony. If there is anyone in attendance for who has cause to ugh, believe that this couple should not be joined in marriage, you may speak now or forever hold your peace. No objections? I thought not. Every king needs a queen, and as I am to control all of time and history, who better than the most beautiful woman to ever exist? Now let us finish this ceremony so we can go consummate our marriage and begin my... <clears throat> our reign. Poor Cleopatra. Chained and, well, gagged. No! Cleo, my beloved! Oh, what have these monsters done to you? As soon as I heard you had been taken, I fought my way through this forsaken pyramid, slaying hundreds, no, countless demons in your name. I think I killed most of them. Unchain this woman, you savage! or you shall incur the wrath of the entire Roman Imperial Army. W well, yeah, how did you... Ugh. Well, I guess that's that. The that's that? Are you kidding me? Time Knight is getting pretty pissed off. You are no knight of time. You're a wretched animal. A savage fiend. With the audacity to bring a goddess such as my beloved to harm for some offensive game, you... Oh, blow it out your ass. I swear every small one of you will pay. You think that puny attack on, the, on Napoleon was the last of it? You think these weak guard dogs I've brainwashed are all I've got up my sleeve? Not even close. I'll make sure each one of you enjoys a slow, painful death at my hands. Even that weird kid that walked in earlier and never moved. Yep, yeah, not moving. Ugh. If I wasn't a hologram, I'd kick all your asses. Ugh. That concludes the w wedding. My darling. Are you alright? Say something. Excellent! I will get you back to safety right away. You, young man. I wish you would stop teleporting around. Go inform Bonaparte of what happened here. Of my great victory over our enemy. I'm sure he will be interested in... Interested to hear about this time night. 
Don't worry, I will ensure that this beautiful lady is brought to safety. Go. Yeah, okay. And we'll do that. Cleopatra? Yep, still angry. What do we have over here? Yep, can't do anything there. Alright. Let's get out of here. Hey! A new path is opened. I think all he did was move some boxes. Awesome, I now can get out. Alright, uh... Let's see... Yeah, I still gotta go take care of that. And, uh... Let's see, I have lots of money now. Locker. Uh, can't do anything there. Well, that's good. Mm, dun, 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 dun. Mm. I could upgrade that. Mm. Well, what do I want to upgrade, if anything? I think I will do nothing right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to see if I can buy anything real fast. Uh, 10 out of 20. Owned, owned, owned. Well, for the time being, I think I will leave all that behind. And get myself out of here. Um, is this the right way? Actually, yes. Yes, it is. Come on. Out of the way. Annoying. Oh, those guys are so annoying. But, if I can manage to get through here without getting hit, I can take the shortcut. Alright. And, before I talk to Napoleon, I'm going to go turn in these side quests. Message for Daryl Whitelaw. Oh, it's you again. You hang around some weird places. You know. Well, the principal would like to see you in his office. Better hurry if you don't mind me saying so. Sure. Pretty strange, too. That new principal ain't the kind of guy to be seeing kids in person. From what I hear, those who do go to the office never see his face because he stays in the shadows. And those who do see his face, well, I hear they ain't never seen again. You must be real lucky, or maybe you're gonna die. I don't know. I ain't paid to speculate. Well, I'm supposed to bring you back there myself. Guess he don't trust you to follow instructions. Yeah, probably not. Now, if you'll just be following me... Okay. Hello, Daryl. Please, come on in. It's not often Waterfall sees a new student. I regret that it's taken me this long to reach out to you. Now that things aren't so new for you any longer. Okay. Better late than never, anyway. Have a seat. Sure. High school is such a strange time, isn't it? Hormones wreaking havoc on the body, while the comforts of childhood are stripped away one by one through increasingly demanding academic responsibilities. All the while, you and your childhood friends must claw and bite your way into a favorable position within the new pecking order. True friends are hard to come by, Daryl. If you're not careful, one day you might find your face beneath the shoe of some friend, using you as just another foothold on the way to the top. Okay. <clears throat> as a new student, you're in a unique position. You lack the kinship your peers have cultivated throughout their childhoods. Your perspective concerning waterfalls is still first impression deep at most. Yeah? And evidently, you completely lack all regard for rules. Uh... Not much can fly undetected beneath my radar, Daryl. Your private visits to the vents and to one very special lady there 
are no secret to me. I want you to know that for anybody else, this delinquency would be met with severe consequences. Okay. However, I'd hate to snuff out your potential for one little breach of conduct. That would certainly be no way to welcome a new pupil. I certainly agree. So, I shall make you a deal. I will abstain from any disciplinary measures that you would otherwise be faced with if you take on the role of tutor. Your girlfriend's grades have become unsatisfactory. Luckily, your fresh outsider perspective may be exactly what I need to bring her back before it's too late. Okay. Not to mention, you're the only student who knows where to find her. Of course, your new job must be performed with utmost secrecy. You must not tell a soul. Is this clear? Yeah. I'll stay silent. Excellent. Here, I went through the trouble to make you an official tutor's badge. Be sure to keep it on your person at all times. Okay. You start immediately. Head straight to recorders as soon as possible. You are dismissed. Thank you. Oh, wait. Where are my manners? <laughs> I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Principal Hangerman. I'm counting on you, Terrell. I would strongly recommend that you don't let me down. Hangerman. Isn't that the name of one of the kids from the beginning of the game? Oh, well. Since I'm now out here, I might as well uh, roam around and see what I can find. And take care of uh, side quests. He said not to dawdle, but where's the fun in that? Haha. Uh, I just hope I can make these jumps without falling off. I've done that before. Hey! Tree and... Re... Truner? Huh. Hey, hey. Now here's a human that knows what it, it wants. That's right. Do I have to say it out loud? Of course I do. Yeah. You want quality wood, but quality alone won't cut it for a sap. I mean, savvy shopper like yourself. No, you're pining for a great price above all else. And you know what else I see? I see someone who's sick and tired of going out on a limb, her her, for all my lousy competitors and leafing disappointed. More tree puns, I see. Well, you, my good human, have finally barked up the right tree. I happen to have a full stock of the highest quality of wood, you've ever seen. Seriously, you will not find better wood anywhere else. I hate these tree puns already. And if I'm not mistaken, you haven't said a single word or closed your mouth once since stopping by. Human Paul and Human Allen said to be expecting you. Well, any friend of theirs is practically a royal tree to me, so I'll even give you a discount. How about it? Sound good? Of course it does. That'll be one bucket of blood. Do we have a deal? Sure, I have a, I happen to have a bucket of blood on hand. Good thing I uh, picked it up earlier. Nothing strange going on here. Good. Okay. So, that's... Oh, wait. Gotta put... Gotta start building. Yep. Okay. I think that's ever gonna be useful. And building. I'll make a quick roundabout. Okay. Anything down this hole? Yes. Yes, there is. Good. Do I have any new locker combos? Hmm. I'll have to check. I don't remember. Okay, so let's go this way. Uh, 
let's just no anything down this hole I'm not gonna talk to you guys how many do I have left uh, four of eight there's one okay so if I go this way I can build one here need to go turn in this quest here we go uncracked nuts what the hell good are these and what are these haunted where the hell did you get uncracked haunted nuts well whatever just make the brownies a bit tougher to get down I suppose you kids are young got strong jaws it'll be fine the rest of this looks good too I'll give you some more of my lucky butter for doing such a dandy job. This is a bigger batch. Should make you real lucky if you rub it all over yourself. You come on back here tomorrow, and we'll do business again. Sure. There you go. What the hell is that? Take that shit down. Nope, can't do it. Anything in here? And no. Okay, so nothing there. And, uh. Missing one. Where? Is it down here? Can't be down here. Shouldn't be down here. Nope, not down there. Okay. So I've misplaced one. Hmm. Thought I've been just about everywhere. Well, I need to head to the uh, club room. Okay, so maybe there's one down here somewhere. Did I miss it? Nope. All right, I'll turn this in and maybe deal with uh, completing a challenge of asp fighting. Oh. There he is, my strong muscled beefcake with a bunch of slimy reptile artifacts. You know what this means, a new summoning talisman, yay. Our purveyor of splendid goods will keep this in stock for you f from now on. Awesome. And I'll go ahead and pick up the quest to uh, take on the asp. I can tell you're just itching to use your skills on this big bad pyramid asp. I bet he's big and slimy. I mean, but he's no match for you. You know how it works, cutie. Just put the summoning talisman in the reconstruction engine to fight this stupid dumb snake. Make sure you yell at him a bit first to get him nice and scared. Sure, I'll take on the challenge. Maybe not right away, but... Alright, so... Ah, uh, wait. I'm jumping around too much. Can't seem to know where I'm going. There's one. Now if I go back in here, I can turn this in. Alright, task complete. Cool. Alright, one uh, rematch with the Asp. Coming up. And uh, this is probably going to be very annoying for me. Yep, one Asp fight coming up. Alright, uh, let's check my equipment real fast. And uh, I'm going to put this there. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a pain, you can tell. Oh well. Going in. Maybe I can get a better weapon. Or maybe better armor. Or headgear. Who cares? Okay, so... One fight. Rematch.
Yeah. I don't like this shaking. Whoa. Watch it with the poison, buddy. Hey, stop it. Ha! <laughs> there you are. Oh, don't run away from me. No, thank you. And where are you going now? Don't hit me. Uh, use that there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. And... Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. And um... Hi. Where are you? Don't hit me. Ow. I said don't hit me. Ouch. Oh. So annoying. Ow. I've been poisoned, I've been poisoned. Oh, why I thought of... No, thank you. I don't want to have to deal with this. Come on. Come on. Yourself. Use that. And I've been poisoned again. I really detest you. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. And just a bit more. Maybe another round of this, and you should be dead. Okay. Where are you going? Come on, show yourself. And... Haha! Come on. Oh no, he, he got away. Dang it. Ow. Ow! Snake. Just let me kill you. Uh, at least the flowers come in handy. Wait. Okay. And he's down. That side quest is taken care of. But that just means it's gonna get harder and harder from here on out. Okay, and uh, let's pick up the uh, weapon. Snake arms. 150. 50. But with this, I'm immune to poison. Mm-hmm. I like that. Alright, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Thank you. I don't have to worry about being poisoned. Alright, get this turned in. Oh my, you've done this again. Is there no beta boss in this realm that can handle my strong, handsome man? I can barely take it. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a new adventure that suits your impressive strength. I'll make sure you're the first to try it out. All right, some more points. Now, let's see. And uh, new quest. Yes, I gotta go back and talk to him. That way, I can continue my uh, adventure. Goth Lord. Hmm. Okay. Um, music and arts. No. No. Wait. Do I? Jessica. Did I already check hers? Where is hers? No. 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 Okay. So, finding this locker may be troublesome. And if I haven't checked it already, then... 
Oh well. Alright, alright. So, let's see. Going upstairs now. That's the only other place it can be. Uh, Kim's. Jessica's locker. Alright, uh, let's see. Five, three, one. I'm not keeping track of this. Hey! Textbook! I'll just take everything. And, uh, what was the other one? Chelsea's? Drew's? Um. Chelsea. Yep. Uh, manager 299. I don't think I checked her. Those lockers. Chelsea! Two, nine, nine. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, disposable cans. Hmm. I'll take that, and that, and that, that, and that. Okay. And that's, I think, everything. Uh, manager. I don't think I checked the manager one. Oh well. So I need to go uh, to the vents, which is upstairs. Cans. Okay. Now. Now. So the other one is somewhere else. All right. So get this taken care of real fast. Speak to with the princess. Princess. If you stand on my bed one more time, I swear I'm... Wait, are you... are you wearing a tutoring license? <laughs> oh lord, that's good. What do you teach? Knuckle dragging? Snot licking? No, no wait, I have it. You have lessons on being a weird vent lurker. How silly of me to not see that. Look, we both know you're a few steps down the evolutionary escalator from me, and you're not going to be teaching me anything. I could tell Daddy right now that you're here and I'd never have to worry about you dragging dirt across my sheets again. Um, I'm sorry, did I step on the bed? I didn't even get near it. But I'll tell you what, if you promise to be my personal servant forever, I'll keep you out of trouble. I'll even give you my number so you can trick whoever put you up to this into thinking you're actually tutoring me. Alright, here, take it. Hey, I got a number. What are you doing? Take it. Have you ever gotten a girl's number before? Or anyone's? Put it in your phone. I currently don't have one. Hmm. You don't have a phone, do you? My god. Why does daddy let idiots like you into this school? Ugh. How were you supposed to tutor me without a way to contact me? You realize I can't leave this room, right? Daddy would kill me. What are you still standing around for? Go get a phone. Sure. Uh, here, have this. Ugh, seriously? Are these just falling from the sky outside? Aw, this was the last birthday I got to spend with my brothers and sisters. Daddy moved me to a private room after this. He said I was too special to be with them. He was right, but I miss them. Better not be keeping any of these. No, I hand them over to you and then immediately leave. So, there's no way I can hold on to them. Alright, so, uh... Where do I go from here? Uh, back to Cleopatra. Yeah, okay. I guess I need to head to history. Science. History. And before I actually head to Cleopatra, I'm going to talk to Watson. Okay. Watson! Daryl, my boy! I have found you at last! After we parted ways, I began sniffing around for... 
other clues that I may have missed in my quick escape from the blue demon woman. Unfortunately, I did not find any clues related to the whereabouts of my poor sweet Sherlock. However, for every grey cloud, there is a silver lining to be found, or in this case, a very suspicious clue. It appears to be a table of contents for a poor written autobiography. Alright. So, autobiography, check. I would, I would know you... I would know, you see, as I am a writer in my spare time. Mm, that is true. You do write up most of Sherlock's uh, cases for him. Although autobiographies are useless drivel in all cases, there is nothing inher inherently evil about them, no. However, take a quick look at the titles of these chapters. Okay. System Initiation, The Younger Years, My First Computer, Real Time Strategy, and Me, Birth of a Master, Early High School Days, Surrounded by Noobs, Association, Access, and Awakening, in a Flash of Blue Light. Aha! Conquering History. Oh dear. So, um, what do I do with all this? You see, a flash of blue light. It must be the blue devil that stole my Sherlock away from me. We must find the author of this autobiography, for it can only be her. I believe if we consider the other titles here, we may f find more clues. This bit about goblin messengers is interesting to me. I propose that we split up. I will interrogate these heathens lurking around this camp. Their brown shade of clothing is making me believe they have something to hide. Really? Well, you also wear a brown suit, so... Go try to find this goblin messenger, fellow, and ask him for more clues. I'll be here when you get back. Oh, before I forget, I have discovered why your wire did not work before. Silly me. I was so worked up over the suspicious Frenchman upstairs that I had completely forgotten to give you batteries for the thing. Really? Huh. No harm done. I have installed them myself this time. Now I will be able to hear everything you say and do, just like the modern police. Yes, this will help our investigation along quite well. Onward, Daryl. Sure. And, uh, I think... A tin can... With batteries? Okay. And not sure if that's actually gonna work. Uh, fun. Speak... Well, if he's a goblin messenger, he has to be somewhere in Napoleon's camp. So, let's go take a look. Alright, uh, let's look in here. Nope, not here. In... Hello? Dear Sterile, the NFL has moved to the battlefield outskirts to prepare our attack on the time night. Join us at your earliest convenience. Love, Napoleon. I don't think I have Cleopatra joining the team just yet. Um, no, I don't have Cleopatra joining the team just yet. Okay, um, uh, battlefield. I'm gonna run around real fast, see if I can find this messenger. Don't mess with anybody. Hello! Aha! Warlord's message. Check. Uh, let's take it to Watson. Okay, that was easy. Someone, anyone, come and listen, listen to the things I, the master spy of the NFL, have seen on my quest to the enemy fortress. The arrow. Hello, is this thing on? Ah, yes, there we go. Glad to see that this new state of the art British technology is working as intended. Now, on to more important matters. 
Did I just hear a man say that he's a spy with a French accent? That scoundrel must be involved. See what you can find out. Alright, find the man with the goblin face. You, you are the one I shall grace with the tale of my infiltration. So there I was, deep undercover, wearing this perfect disguise so that no disgusting monster creature could distinguish me from one of their own. I... I came upon the warlord's massive fortress and hid behind a pile of stones outside of it. I was con contemplating my next move when a tall gray man appeared and strode straight up to the gate. I knew that this was not the warlord, for he was a normal, if not so much creepy, human man. The drawbridge lowered for him, and he went inside, leaving me outside. But I followed close behind, you see, for the master spy of the NFL was not going to let this unexpected occurrence stop him from gathering the intel that we so desperately desperately need. Crouched low and sneaked through the awful habitat of countless appalling grotesqueries until I stumbled upon a big scary white room with a very strange contraption in the center. Before I could investigate further, the tall gray man walked in behind me. I barely had time to hide before he noticed my presence carefully. I watched, waiting, until the warlord himself appeared out of the thin air in front of my very eyes. It was then that I realized the rumors are true. Our nemesis is indeed made of blue shimmering light. At this point, I did not stay long. No, for even the master spy himself knows when he is in over his head. I could not hear what they were saying anyway. Although the gray man was scolding the warlord, this is for certain. Now you see why I could stay no longer. The warlord is not at the top of this food chain. No, this strange gray man is our next lead. Napoleon must know. Okay. And, uh... Take the warlord's message to Watson. Check. Well, that was interesting. But, Watson, you had to see this letter. Come on. Here we go. Ah, oh, you've returned. I suppose that dirty French spy had nothing of value to offer you. That's not surprising to me in the slightest. I see you managed to talk the messenger out of his letter. Quickly, hand it here. I'm sure it's full of clues. Sweet heavens, Daryl. You would you should read these clues. Ah, uh, two it's two pages. Attention, slave. You will be reporting to the Pyramid of Beverus post haste to witness the great event that is going to be happening there in the altar located at the Pyramid Center. My army of Anubis will be marching on Egypt within the hour and ransacking her. Though gold and sand is not what we were after, no, my prize shall be the lovely pharaoh herself, for only she can open what I seek at the center of the pyramid. As my scribe, it is your job to record this life-changing event, as it shall seal my fate as the ruler of this sprawling classroom and the greatest strategist that history has ever seen. I have prepared a small hidden room for you located at the end of the altar. You will lock yourself away behind the door and transcribe every syllable uttered, every finger twitch made as soon as it begins. I haven't the time to retrieve the key from my storage, so you will stop by the school and withdraw it before returning to me. As I do not trust you to remember the combination, I've included it stapled to this message. P.S. If there is anything missing from my locker when I return it to you, return to it, you shall 
suffer a slow and painful demise at my hand personally. Do not cross me. TK. Time Knight? This must have been written by the blue woman. She's up to no good at the Pyramid of Beverus, whatever that is. My cluing sense tells me it's on the other side of this vast desert, but I'm afraid that it's much too dangerous for a humble man like myself to cross. Daryl, I have a plan. We'll split up. You go retrieve the key that is meant for this recipient of this message. That way we can ambush the blue devil where she lays, least expects it. Then, on your way back from getting the key, you will clear the desert of any dangerous creatures, allowing me to meet you at the pyramid. Yes, this is foolproof plan. This is a foolproof plan, my ass. I shall continue searching for clues in this area. Of course, there is still much to be found. Yeah, I'm sure there is. TK's locker. I just gotta find it. Alright, so... Chad's... Strange locker. TK. Alright, so let's see. TK. Two, nine, four. Two, nine, four. And what do we have here? Scribe's key. Textbook, textbook. Half-eaten cheese. Essence of Anubis. Lunch money. Fuzzy meat chunk. And cardboard. I'll take everything and sell what I don't need. Alright, so off I run. Daryl, come in. Daryl, blast this contraption. Ah, oh, there we go. Daryl, you've done it. The path through these treacherous desert sands is clear as a summer's, summer day. In fact, I've already arrived at the Pyramid of Bevers. I'll be waiting for you there to continue our investigation. Hey, Watson. Here we are, Daryl. We've come so far, and I can practically taste the evil of that blue she-devil. We must find the Pyramid's altar and ambush her when she least expects it. Only then will we rescue Sherlock. Let's split up. I'll stay here and search for clues. You go dig deeper into this big, scary pyramid and see what you can find. Don't worry, I'll always be a quick phone call away. Yeah, thanks, Watson. Okay, so we're back here at the altar. Chamber. Ring, ring! Did you find it? Did you find the altar? My cluing sense says you must be close. Yeah, I'm pretty close. Yeah, close enough. Books! Time Knight Scribe. Ah. You, you're not Don. Who are you? Wait, you must be a fan, right? Don said that once he conquered all of history, he would be the most famous person alive. But I didn't know it would be... it would start so fast. Wow. Psst, don't tell anyone, but... I'm writing his autobiography. He's my big brother, so he lets me do it. Don would be really mad at me if I gave away any spoilers, but you're his first fan, so I guess I could give you a sneak peek. Don't tell anyone I told you, though. Pinky swear? Okay, Don is what's known as an honor student. That's sort of like being a superhero, but like way better. He was recruited to be the Guardian of History Axis, which is so cool. His job is to protect the Axis so the new world can be made. Of course, before all of that happened, Don was already a master strategist. He's the best I know for sure. Best real-time strategy, strategy player in the world. Probably. That's what... that's why... He was chosen for such an important job. Really? Hmm, okay. So now with the extra power, powers he has, plus his genius strategist brains, nothing can stop him. He's going to conquer all of history, and it's so neat. He's the coolest big brother ever. Don says that 
these feeble history leaders aren't strong enough to stop him. I'm so lucky that he lets me follow along and write his story down for him. I want to be an honor student when I grow up someday. Then I can be just like Don, but don't tell anyone I told you. Oh, and since you're his number one fan, I'll give you a special surprise to remember this moment by. They're Don's official honor student gloves. He doesn't wear them on account of the armor and all that. Enjoy. Okay. Errol, hello. Is this thing on? I heard everything. It's a shame this Don person is neither a woman or a devil. I just really... Just a really great strategist, I suppose. Oh, well. You did a fine job, anyway. Onward to the next clue. Sure. What do these things do? Wow, they're actually better than the, uh... Leather gloves. So I will equip them. That's a little sad. Okay. Well, I think I'll end the video here for now, and I'll meet you guys back at uh, Napoleon's camp. Well, actually, I'll probably see you guys at the uh, beta boss thing, so I can finish off the ass, but... Oh well. That's going to be taken care of in the next video, anyway. So for now, I'll leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, see you guys.